Good morning, everyone. Surf Gal. Today we are visiting an even older classic than normal, uh, going all the way back to NES and playing some Rygar. This is a game in the vein of some of my other favorites from the NES. Um, namely, it is a, kind of an open world game in the same vein as like Blaster Master, where there are some obvious stages, but honestly, it kind of fits into that proto Metroidvania vibe. Pretty simple. Run and attack. We're gonna get some special attack or some special items in the form of some like grappling hook attachments. Pretty much. Oh, let's try not to die. I did not do any uh let's see if this guy is a healer. <laughs> I don't think it is. In the Grand Mountains lies the entrance to Garlogs. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of random lore stuff like this that is not actually helpful. Unless you had the maps. Which we do. Uh, I do have this one mapped out pretty extensively as the... It's one of those games that should not take very long. It's going to take longer if I die. <laughs> um, luckily, it does have infinite continues. Let's see. Important thing here. It does keep your XP, which it does have an XP system to it. Uh, the more you use your attacks, the more damage you do, and eventually the more health you get. Okay, so you're supposed to talk to the wise men to get hints. That's pretty much the part I'm going to be skipping. Because um, I have a vague idea of where I'm going. <laughs> Emphasis on the vague. And I think, based on what I'm seeing there, we are actually doing more damage already. Possibly. Seems like our, we're doing damage a little bit faster. Much like Blaster Master, this has a kind of a switch between overhead and uh, side scroll, which is really cool. Some of these enemies even are similar, in the, especially in the overhead section, have a very similar vibe to the ones in the, or in Blaster Master. The big difference here is you can jump in the overhead sections. Okay, we're gonna visit here, and we get the grappling weapon, which will help you complete your quest. Oop. I, I just did that already. Carry on. And we're going to take another death. Uh, that one was intentional because it's going to refill our health. And we're going to head straight back to the beginning of this area because now we want to go right. 
So, anytime you die, you immediately start back at the beginning of that area. So, in a lot of cases, it's going to be beneficial to die and get a health refill. Okay. And that brings us to... The Valley of Rolsa. And I believe what we want to do is get those guys all on screen. Because that will let them, uh... Uh, that lets us... Okay, above here in the sky is... Of Rolsa is a floating castle. Yep. We're gonna come back here later to do the whole floating castle thing, but for now... I'm trying to remember if one of these is a help... From here, you can't go on without the grappling weapon. Okay, yep. That's what the grappling weapon does. If we get these guys following us, more enemies don't spawn in. really keeps looking like it's not gonna work. <laughs> there we go. Um, I think at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and take a death. Get our health refill before the boss. I think these guys are going to keep coming, so we do need to keep moving. Uh, these enemies are annoying, so we're just not going to fight them. There's a lot of areas in this game where you have to use your grappling weapon to an unseen location. So when you hit a dead end, a lot of times what you need to do is either use your grappling weapon to go up or down. I'm a little annoyed that we haven't gotten another health yet. That is also annoying. Is that all the way back at the beginning? All the way back at the beginning. That's why we weren't dealing with those enemies, because projectiles suck. Just 
tone 50, last 30. That's the XP. Unfortunately, we just lost that star. Star lets you cast, or stars let you cast spells. Um, we have three spells. We're going to be using mostly power up, possibly recover on occasion. Let's double check on this, because I skipped this last time. A monster Aruga leaves deep within this forest. Yep. Okay, knew that. I think we're going to do a short grind here. I have not been, or I did not keep track of... Um, there we go. Where the changeovers happen. As far as health and uh, attack go, I'm not sure how to use that ability. Or if we have enough. This is one of those, uh, it probably says in the instruction manual, and I'll have to check in between videos. <laughs> Trying to push different buttons while I'm on that s screen to see if we can trigger it. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so we just must not have enough. That was costly. We were literally at the end of the, like, I'm pretty sure that was the last, like, couple jumps before we were done. Um, we don't get to keep our mind, but we do get to keep our level. Which in this case is really important because basically what that does is means that now we've got enough health. Well, we only still have three health because you don't start at max, but we have the potential for enemies to drop health.
downside is we also lost our power-up spell that we cast. But if we get a few more mind, that is not an enemy we want to deal with. Gone. It's gone. There we go. So these guys are only taking two hits now. Hey, we got another health too. Up to five max now. Uh, it'll eventually get to 12. Which we'll do a, a grind towards the end of the game to just max that out if we're not maxed yet. We'll take that. Yeah, that's literally where I died last time. Just on the edge of that screen. Okay. I apparently don't know what I'm doing here. This is one of those I watched the speed run and it looked they made it look easy. Oh, you can't jump through that platform from the bottom. Okay. Nice. The good news is we do start at the boss. The bad news is we don't have uh, our extra health. Oh my gosh, okay. So. Oh, you can jump on his head. That makes the, a huge difference. Spreading that needle on that last hit is really annoying. You can't duck under that either. Okay. Again, good news is there's no life cap. Okay, so that felt a little better. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we are going to still have to work at this. That's okay. We're starting to get it. Again, the downside here is we lose all of our uh, mind and our extra health when we have to redo it. There we go. That's bad. That is also bad. I clipped my head on that wall somehow. That's annoying. Those things do two health per shot, too. Okay, I am I have one question here, which is can we duck our head out to try and refill our health quick? Or is that an unreasonable thing? There we go.
There's some mind. That'll let us power up. We're also one-shotting these guys now, which means we have gotten another power boost. Okay, so we've got one more health, which is one more hit, because of the fact that it's odd. That puts our health back at, well, it's showing as... Oh, crap. Well, that ruined everything. Stupid bug thing. Those guys are really obnoxious. Unfortunately, I do need some help. <laughs> if I can get a recover, we'll take it. If I can't, I'll see if I can get back up to five health and just get the power up. got another max health which would be awesome if we actually got up to it I feel like we're sitting here too long the good news is once we've done this I'm a little bit less worried about some of the follow-ups like this boss is actually a little bit tougher than it should be there we go with max health and knowing what we're doing a little bit maybe kind of slow and steady wins the race there we go Okay, that gets us another grappling, or the next stage of our grappling hook, which is the winch. Um, which basically lets us cross these? Maybe? I thought. <laughs> okay. We genuinely should be able to go through those, but uh, looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of experimentation to get the right spot. So, we will pick back up here next time. Uh, we've gotten one of the five bosses down. Actually, I think there's a few more than five, but either way. We've gotten to one of the sages, that's the important part. Um, we've defeated Iruga. And now it is going to be time to head to a, an even larger area where I will probably die a lot again. So, hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. 
you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.